Mercedes-Benz 500e, merely mentioning this model name is enough to make many people's eyes light up. This is because the high-performance 124 model series saloon still outshines all the other members of this generation of Mercedes-Benz mid-sized saloons. Of the total of more than 2 million cars produced in the 124 model series, the 500e accounts only for the relatively small number of 10,479 units, including the E500 and E60 AMG. A glance at the technical specifications of the E-Class predecessor explains why this car triggers so much fascination. 8-cylinder, 5-liter V engine, 326 horsepower output, top speed limited to 250 km per hour. With specifications like that, this saloon belonged up among the fastest sports cars when it was unveiled at the Paris Motor Show in 1990. One great distinguishing feature in comparison with its competitors was the very discreet outward appearance of the 500e, at first glance, the four-door saloon appeared extremely restrained. Only the initiated could distinguish this high-speed car from its less powerful brothers at a glance. This was very much in keeping with the style of many owners because, while they valued superior driving performance, they preferred a less glamorous outward appearance. And if they could leave many a sports car behind them without making a fuss, all the better. The car's classic potential was at a very high level right from the start, soon after production ceased, the 500e became a coveted collector's item. When the Mercedes-Benz 500e in brilliant silver was presented on a turntable at the Paris Motor Show from 4 to October 14, 1990, the 124 model series had already been on the market for six years. It was a gently shimmering star in the background, whose appearance did not initially arouse much interest, until a closer look revealed the details, the wings were flared outward slightly at both the front and rear to make room for the size 225-55 or 16 tires. The body, which had been lowered by 23 mm, and a modified front spoiler with integrated fog lamps were also discrete characteristics of the top model. The published performance figures were even more exciting for visitors to the motor show, with the standard automatic transmission, it achieved the 100 km per hour mark in just 5.9 seconds. The actual top speed that could be reached was kept a secret, but the engine was electronically limited to 250 km per hour. The 500e was powered by a sophisticated engine, the main features of which had been carried over from the 500 SL of the R129 model series. The V8 engine internally designated the M119, with four valves per cylinder, and a displacement of 4,973 cubic centimeters, differed from the 500 SL engine due to the electronically controlled Bosch LHGtronic intake manifold petrol injection system with a heated wire mass airflow sensor, which was deployed here for the first time at Mercedes-Benz. The engine block was also slightly lower and was now the same height as the 4.2-liter version of the M119. The brake system was likewise carried over from the R129 model series to cope with the high speeds. The ASR traction control system that was fitted as standard prevented the drive wheels from spinning in the event of high slip on smooth road surfaces. One of the many enhancement details of the 500e was that the battery was moved to the boot to optimize weight distribution. The installation of a powerful engine in the next smallest vehicle category was something that was not completely new at Mercedes-Benz. The best example was the use of the 6.3-liter, 8-cylinder M100 from the representative limousine model 600, W100, in the luxury model series W109 in 1966-1967. 
In doing so, test engineer Eric Waxenberger paved the way for the 300 SEL 6.3 W109 saloon, which continues to attract a great deal of attention today. The early design drafts of the W124 model series around 1980 were forward-looking enough to envisage the possible installation of an eight-cylinder engine. When the idea was taken up again at the end of the 1980s, it became clear that some changes to the front-end assembly were necessary and that the cooling airflow would have to be redesigned. However, the development capacities at Mercedes-Benz in those years were, to a considerable extent, taken up by work on the SL of the 129 model series and the S-Class of the W140 model series. This was why, in December 1987, Porsche was awarded a development contract for the design and experimental series development of the base W124 saloon with the 8-cylinder M119 engine. This was the same M119 that Mercedes-Benz used in the Sauber Mercedes C9, equipped in that case with two turbochargers, to win the 1989 World Sports Car Championship and the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Porsche was also responsible for the assembly of the 500e. The body parts were supplied to the sports car manufacturer from Sindelfingen. The body was then assembled at the Porsche facility, painted at the Sindelfingen plant, and returned to Zuffenhausen. The final assembly, including the drivetrain supplied in its entirety by Mercedes-Benz, was carried out at Porsche, while delivery to customers and sales partners was handled by the Mercedes-Benz plant in Sindelfingen. By April 1995, 10,479 units of the high-powered saloon had been built. In the production statistics, the 500E is included together with the E500, as the top model in the 124 model series was called, designated from June 1993 as the E-Class, and the E60 AMG, which was launched in 1993. In the latter model, which was built until 1994, the 6-liter version of the M119 engine even generated 381 horsepower. In 1991, yet another 8-cylinder model joined the W124 family, the 400E, whose engine produced 279 horsepower. This model did not attract anything like as much media attention as the 500E but, in terms of sales figures, the 400E and E420 sold 22,802 units, which put them ahead of the more powerful cars in the model series. The 500E initially cost 134510 Deutsche Mark which was more than twice as much as the less opulently equipped 300E with an output of 180 horsepower with a catalytic converter. At the Geneva Motor Show in March 1994, Mercedes-Benz showcased the special E500 Limited model, which, as the name suggests, was limited to 500 units and was sold with exclusive trim and the special paint finish was either sapphire black or brilliant silver. As production of the 124 model series saloons ended in 1995, the E500 was phased out as well. The tradition of sports saloon cars embodying the highest standards of performance and driving experience was then continued by the AMG models made by Mercedes-Benz. Trade magazine Road & Track had this to say, the 500E is a magnificent high-performance saloon that's heavy on the visceral. It looks right, low-slung, intimidating, but not showy, like the AMG Hammer or Mercedes' own 600 SEL. It sounds great, nothing beats the thunder of a big V8. It goes sinfully fast for a family four-door, 155 miles per hour, electronically limited. It has everything you'd expect in a Mercedes. This channel old bends. Thank you for your attention. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.